Rick Garcia, if you wouldn't mind. Vice President, is the floor mine? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Vice President Jefferson. I want to tell you that this is the most important meeting of my day. Because quite frankly, we are here because of students. And so I love speaking to students and hearing from you of what we need to do when I come on board at Fullerton. I also want to thank the voice on the search committee, President Eric. Thank you. His voice was clear of the kind of president that he felt you needed. He had a great representative, and please join me in thanking him for spending so much time on that. I should tell you that he said we need a statute for Titan Pride, and I remember that, and I wrote that down in my notes. But before I, I heard of who was here, I'd like to tell you a little bit about me. I did that with the faculty. I'm going to take a li little different direction with you, because you're students. And I will tell you that I am a first-generation college student, and that my parents came from Puerto Rico in the 40s with five of their seven children, but that I was not born yet. <laughs> we, uh, they had two other children in Brooklyn, so I'm a New Yorican. Um, and so we were born in Brooklyn, New York, so we are seven children. My parents were very poor. You know, they came for the reason many of your parents they wanted a better education for their children. They said that the only inheritance a poor family could leave its children is a good education. And my father died when I was 12. And so we had to move to the housing projects. And they worked in factories. You know, uh, I know there are factories out here on the East Coast. Factories are a big thing where poor people work. My mother gave me the best education of my life. At 14, as most of us, we want to buy nice things for ourselves. And you can get working papers in New York City. And she allowed me to go work in the factory with my cousins, in a handbag factory. You won't learn from me, but I love shoes and handbags. <laughs> and so I worked in a handbag factory. And I started to learn about what it was like to work in a factory. It was absolutely horrible. And I will tell you that I had the foreman screamed at me one day. And my parents never screamed at us. Of course, they gave us rules and regulations. And I quit on the spot and told her that someday I would be his boss. And I walked out. <laughs> but there I also vowed and understood that we needed to get out of poverty. And so I vowed that my mother would not work in a factory again, that I was going to put myself to college, and that we were going to work together to get out of poverty. And the way that happened was because of a higher education. So when I tell you I'm passionate about students and student success, it's because I've seen what's happened to me. A poor kid from Brooklyn, coming from the housing projects, was appointed the president of Cal State Fullerton. And that, to me, is a story. I'm sharing that with you because if I could do it from Brooklyn, then any student who has that dream and passion can do that. And so I've told the faculty that I am a student-centered president, that I want you to have an academic experience better than anyone in the state of California. And that I need to know that you are getting all you need to graduate and do great things, become whoever you want to be, and then become that fabulous alumni for all of you that make a lot of money, give back to Fullerton. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's a little bit about me. I, I went to the community college. I was told by my guidance counselor in high school that I would never make it through college. And here I am because I'm stubborn. I learned that from my family. You know, my father had an eighth grade diploma. And, and you know, they, my father was born in Culebra, which is a little island right outside of Puerto Rico. And my mother was born in Vieques, the other little island outside of Puerto Rico. And they met in San Juan. But my father's family could not send them to high school. My grandmother ironed clothes for the Navy personnel and washed their clothes. And that's how they supported themselves. And so they wanted us to have that education. But he helped me with my algebra homework. And he helped me with my geometry homework. They were both very smart. When my father died and I was 12, my mother supported us on a factory salary. But you know, I never felt poor because of the values and what we did together for the family. And so that's a little bit about me. 
I wanted you to know about me and where I've come from and how I see the world and why I am so committed to student success. You know, my little nieces and nephews and some of my big nieces and nephews now don't see college just for rich people. That's what I used to think in the projects. They would say, oh my God, the university's for rich people. No, now they're talking about what college they're gonna go to. And so that's very important. It's changed my entire family and the generations after that. So what I'd like to do is hear from you. You've heard a lot of ask me questions. Tell me what I need to know. You know, I'm gonna be coming in as your new president. From the student's perspective, what is the good, the not so good, and what you think needs to change and what you think needs to continue to be CSU Fullerton and Titan Pride. Thank you very, very much. It's an honor to be in your presence. Thank you.